Hello and welcome to Konrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Uh, this week's beer is Hirte Privat Pils. Uh, it's a Pilsner beer and on the label it says uh, since 1270. Well, that's a slight exaggeration because uh, as everyone knows, Pilsner beer has only been around since 1842. So it's, um, it's not that old, but the brewery itself is probably that old because it was a tavern and it had the right to sell beer uh, granted in the year 1270. So probably uh, this is one of the oldest breweries in Austria, maybe even the oldest. Uh, they have been brewing Pilsner beers since the 1960s. Uh, you know, Austria has never been a Pils-oriented country because uh, Pilsner beer was invented in Bohemia and that was part of Austria. So Pilsner beers came in from Bohemia and there were lots of good ones. So uh, no one in, in what is now Austria uh, tried to, to brew Pilsner beers uh, up to the 1960s. But then uh, the Hirte Brewery was probably the first that focused on that style. It's a German style Pilsner, uh, not as hoppy as many other German Pilsners, but uh, uh, well, a fairly good interpretation of the style. Let's see how it pours. We see that the color is straw to golden and a beautiful white head. Let's top it up. A lot of CO2 and it goes all into the head and you get a, a nice uh, hay-like grassy aroma. Not a very bitter beer, but um, CO2 and, and the hops, they give a lot of bitterness um, to the palate and, and you, you don't get too much of the malt. It's, it's very dry and um, so it's very Pilsner-like, although it's not too bitter. It's, it's not overwhelmingly bitter like, like some German Pilsners from northern Germany, uh, but this is quite far in the south. This is southern part of Austria, so it's a, uh, it's, it's a nice combination of of hops and, and dryness, and as it's so dry, it, it doesn't need too much bitterness, it's just um, easy drinking. And as you drink it, you get a whole impression of, of this grassy hoppiness to it, uh, and you see it has a very good clink. So foam builds so rings here in the, in the glass. You can see from one level to the other that um, foam clings to, to the glass, which is also uh, a sign that it's very well hopped, although it's not overdone. Uh, what would you sort of eat with that? Um, actually, many people go to Carinthia for two reasons. One reason is, of course, it's, it's a nice place to spend your holidays. The other is you find good food and good beer there. And one good combination is Kentner Kassnudel with that beer. Kassnudel, you have to imagine large ravioli. Uh, they're actually, well, they're, they're much better than, than Italian ravioli, of course, because they're Corinthian and, and they're filled with cheese. And, uh, and they're very good and they go very well with uh, this Corinthian German style Pilsner. And uh, I hope you get hold one or two balls and, and enjoy it as much as I do. Cheers.